This module is better than this Roblox feature. In Roblox, we're able to weld two parts together. And basically what this means is when we have two parts welded and they are unanchored and in the air, when we run the game, they fall uniformly and they don't break apart from each other, basically gluing them together. So if I go to the model, delete the weld, and they kind of, you know, they fall apart as you can see here. But setting these welds up can be quite tedious if you have lots and lots of parts to weld together. A way to fix this is by going to model and then create and using your weld constraints with all your uh, parts uh, actually selected here. But that can get unorganized and in my opinion it creates unnecessary welds. So in my opinion the weld I'm about to sh the well the module I'm about to show you guys is better than this Roblox feature right here. Okay, so let's make this module. So in my replicated storage, I'm gonna make a module script, and I'm gonna call this just weld for now, and we can actually start making this. So I'm gonna say function module dot weld here, and then we're gonna say model, which is a model, which will be a model, and then the parent, which is an instance, it might be an instance, and so basically this uh, module will weld ignore this <laughs> this module will weld all the parts in a model to the primary part of that model so this basically is like a module oriented type thing so we need to do some checks to make sure we have everything that we need so we're going to say if not model model I actually should probably change this module to make it easier I'm going to say like I don't know I guess I'll keep it for now but I'm going to say model is a model and then warn the model's name model dot name dot dot isn't a model and then we're gonna return so we need to make sure that our model that we put in here is actually a model and then we're gonna say if not model dot primary parts then warn model uh, doesn't have a primary part so we need to actually have a primary part to weld all of our other parts together to that primary part. So we need to make sure we actually have that. All right. So then we're going to say local uh, primary part is equal to model dot primary part. We know that this exists because uh, if it didn't, then our script wouldn't be wouldn't get to this point. And we're going to say local counter and our counter is will be used to see if we have enough parts that we can weld together. So for underscore comma parts in model uh, model get children do if not parts is a base part then continue and we're going to say counter is equal to counter plus one and then down here we're going to say if counter is less than two then warn model doesn't have enough parts. So this is going to make sure we have enough parts and we can weld everything together all fine because we obviously need two parts to weld them together. So if we don't have two parts at least, then we can't really weld anything. So this goes through all the other parts in there and adds it to this counter and we're just going to make it sure that our counter, uh, you know, if we have enough parts. And then we are going to say for underscore weld and model get descendants do if not weld is a weld constraint then continue and weld destroy and then we can actually get to the weld part uh, at the end of this whole thing I'll explain what's going on like in full detail so give me some time this is our last little part of it and we're again go through every part in the model's uh, descendant. So every other part in the model. If part is a base part, then we are then going to check if part is not equal to the primary parts. Primary parts. Then we're going to create a new weld. So weld is equal to instance dot new weld constraints. And then weld dot name will just I guess be weld constraint. I guess we don't need to include this. Uh, weld dot part zero 
will be equal to primary parts and then weld dot part one will be equal to our other parts and then we're gonna check if parent that oh if parents sorry parent then weld not parent is equal to the parent and then else weld dot parents is equal to the primary parts so we are checking if we actually have a parent uh, that we want to assign the weld constraints to. Uh, so basically saying, where do we want to put our parts? And if we actually have one, then we're going to set the parent of our welds to that uh, that we said. But if we don't put a parent, then it's just going to put all the welds in the primary part for organization. So that is basically our module done. Now we can actually start testing it. So I'm insert a part and we actually need to make our model, okay? So this right here is gonna be my uh, primary part because I know because it is the color green. I'm going to make some other parts around that like and make that gray and all the regular, regular ones gray and just stack them on top of each other, do some weird type stuff and I guess Make a few more something, add a few more parts, whatever you guys want. So this is basically going to be our model. I'm going to group them all together. We need to set our primary part and the properties of the model to our green part. All right. And now we need to make a script. Uh, by the way, guys, if you don't understand the purpose of this module, when you regularly do this, when you create all the welds, uh, selecting all these, uh, weld constraints well it puts the welds in random parts and my in my opinion that's weird and I don't really like that and it's bad organization I don't know if it breaks or not if you move them so I'm just making a module and if you guys didn't know welds can eat up memory in your game so spawning and putting the welds uh, in these parts when they are needed is better for memory as well if you guys uh, want to know more about memory optimizing I have a video uh, from a few days ago and you guys can go watch that for more detail but anyways uh, we have our model here and I'm gonna put it in the air all right and it's not anchored so when we run the game the parts just go you know go flying everywhere and it doesn't really work so we're gonna insert a script in our model and immediately we obviously need to get our weld module and we're going to say weld dot weld again probably not very good naming but you know stick with me here and we put in our model and if we want a parent so our model is script dot parent and this is optional put your parent if you want to put the welds in a certain place but I don't really want to do that I'm just going to put them in the primary part so just to test this out real quick we run the game we select our model and we can see that in the green part here we have all of our weld constraints and everything is welded together. So let's move it up to the air. Oh, yep. And then it falls down and none of it falls apart. And you know, the actual model itself may fall over, but all the parts don't go flying everywhere. And it's going to be a big time saver, uh, memory optimizer, everything like that. I think this is pr pretty useful. And if you guys want to know why I didn't include a delete weld type thing, well, I think that is very easy. After we have welded all this together, it is very simple to just go uh, for underscore comma child in our model, which is script dot parent and get descendants do. And it's very easy to just check if a model or if a child is a weld constraint. And if it is, it's really easily, easily to just destroy it just like that. All right. So I don't think there's much of a point to include a delete weld type function in here when it's just really simple to just you know have code like this and destroy it uh, like that but if you guys want to do that you can uh, insert this code into a function and have your model and just loop through the model and destroy all that you guys can add that too uh, in my opinion I'm just I think that's fine the way it is but you guys add it if you uh, think it will save you more time and yeah guys this was today's video if you guys did learn something from this video or you guys enjoyed this video please hit the like button and the subscribe button i will see you guys in the next video peace